Hello, today I'm going to demonstrate the characteristics of the voltage divider rule. The voltage divider rule demonstrates the ratio of voltage drop across a resistor which is directly proportional to its amount of resistance. That is, the greater the resistance, the greater the voltage drop will be across that resistor. The formula can be used as follows. The voltage across a particular resistor is equal to the total voltage entering the circuit multiplied by the resistance of the ch chosen branch all over the total resistance. To look at this in a more simpler way, we can look at this simple series circuit here. So we have resistors R1 and R2, and we know that the current here will be the same as the current flowing through that resistor as well. So we can look at it as if the voltage entering the circuit here through the two resistors there and the voltage flowing through the resistor 2 here. Using Ohm's law, V equals IR, we can use this to help us in um, solving this problem. So what we'll do is we'll um, solve for VI first now. So VI is equal to the current multiplied by the resistance value, uh, the total resistance, because we're looking at the total resistance of the circuit. Um, and rearranging that, we can get I is equal to VI over R1, R1 plus R2. And um, if we do the same for the second resistance, uh, the second voltage, I multiplied by, and it's just the resistance of this um, resistance value because we're just looking at the voltage drop across this resistor. Um, and we'll rearrange that one as well. So we know that these currents are the same um, in a series circuit, so we can make both of these I's, um, we know they're the same, so we can make these equals, equal each other to VI over R1 plus R2. And rearranging that, we get V2 is equal to VI over R2 over R1 plus R2. So if we look at that and compare it to the voltage divider rule, which states Vx, which is the voltage across any resistor that you're trying to find, that is equal to the total voltage, um, which is what we've used here, um, multiplied by the resistance value of that, res that voltage that you're trying to find all over the total resistance.